guys. I know it's been a minute since the last video. Um, I have some great updates, some big news with the car. I'm actually really excited to share with you guys. As you can see, we're driving, which uh, could only mean one thing. If you see back there, we got this thing registered finally, finally got the title to it. So I've been driving this car for about the last two weeks now. And well, it's been an absolute blast. Uh, currently right now it's, I just installed the rear diffuser and the bra one of the brackets came loose. But I haven't had the time to get up under it and, well, reattach it. So it's a little, it sounds like a rear diffuser is falling off, but I promise you that it's not. Uh, there's still a lot of things we need to fix on the car to make sure it drives good. First and foremost, it needs an alignment really bad, it pulls. And then another thing I've noticed is the um, power steering like will catch every now and then. So I need to look into that. I know these things run an electronic power steering pump, so it's not like it's a typical hydraulic system. So uh, I'm gonna need to look into replacing that and seeing if that takes care of the issue. But Aside from that, we've been driving it. I've been enjoying it a ton. Um, it's just uh, right now we're actually going to uh, do a little bit of a photo shoot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the quality of the videos. I uh, actually upgraded and got myself an actual camera so I can start taking these vlogs a little bit more seriously and not just have it be off my cell phone all the time. Um, if the audio quality is a little bit rough, um, I'm using a road mic. It's like a little $30 mic. So, and the car is super loud, so let's see how this, uh, this out, how this ends up. But yeah, right now we're going to this little spot right by my house just to get some quick pictures of the car. And uh, yeah, I, I've been meaning to get some final photos of kind of where it's at right now. We still got a few parts coming in and a few parts that we need to install. I still have the good releases that I need to put on. And, uh, Ordered, uh, finally got the badge for the trunk so that way people can stop calling this car a Miata or the other day I had somebody call it an RX-8 that was uh, you know a little bit insulting but it's okay so still got a few parts I still need to get my hands on um, a big wing for it especially with the rear diffuser now on it kind of needs a little bit more to finish the aggressive styling of the rear end and then uh, for the front I'm still needing to get some canards and I need to make a front splitter for it still so still lots of stuff to come with this car but for now I wanted to just take it out for a spin show you guys uh, kind of like the final look not even final look I guess just you know where it's at now so that's kind of what we're doing but there's no lights it it runs great it just again like I said it needs an alignment and there's a few things that are rattly that I need to fix so it doesn't rattle as much location just to kind of update you guys a little bit of what we've done i haven't posted a video on kind of the new stuff we've put on simply because well i didn't want to mess it up and show you guys how i did it wrong um to be completely honest with you i didn't install these the greatest way so i installed the gt3 uh fender vents and you can see that i messed up right here there's a big old hole there and then i overcut so it's a a bit too big there and you can still see some of the raw fiberglass underneath the front there and then on the passenger side one I did a lot better but when I was riveting them it kept skipping and I scratched the fender so I got three good sized scratches there that I'm gonna have to touch up at some point but we got those put on um, we also went ahead and painted and installed the Jace Racing front fenders I mean the Jace Racing side skirts sorry about that but yeah we went ahead and got those put on and it really does help complete the look of the car so that's kind of the the front end now now that the fender vents are on and the side skirts are put on um i still haven't had a chance to 
fix this gapping in this fender here. I know what it is. There's a tab that goes up here. And, well, the tab broke, and I just haven't had time to fix it. But we went ahead and got the Jace Racing rear diffuser put on. Let's see if I can get you guys to see that a little bit better. But, yeah. Um, basically made my own brackets, painted them black so they didn't look ugly. And then um, I used some splitter support rods I had laying around just to hold it back here. And, well, it's, it's on there pretty good. So hopefully that guy doesn't fall off. But, I mean... We're, we're getting there so far all we have left from parts that we have are the front hood latches and then also i just ordered the the badge that goes back here so that way people can know what kind of car it is uh we got the rear windshield put on i went ahead and made that just out of some polycarbonate um i need to clean up i got a bunch of residue all over the hard top when i did it so i need to clean all that up but i mean it's it's coming along it's looking more and more like a complete car day by day so i think from here all that we have left again like i mentioned is a big wing and i want to do a duck bill as well and then uh i gotta get the front splitter made and then i might make the front canards or if i can afford to just buy them outright i'll just do that but once those are on then i'll have all the arrow complete i might do some side splitters too but yeah, that's basically the entire goal with the car. And well, once we have all that, then then we're basically complete and then we can just enjoy the car. Uh, maintenance wise, we need to get the car lined. Um, we need to do an oil change. We need to get plugs and uh, coil packs too. And there's uh, these cars run a secondary air pump. And with the secondary air pump, it sits behind the on the inside under the kick panel and with it's a it's a module that sits there once you remove the secondary air pump it's this module that essentially tricks the ecu of the car to not pop a check engine light and to run as if there is a secondary air pump connected well i'm pretty sure that's the module that's causing a majority of our issues because anytime that we uh hit a speed bump or a pothole or anything like that on the road it uh will make the car start running really rough like it'll start idling rough it'll start kind of spitting um when you're under load and then yeah it's just having issues and i've noticed that that's what's causing it because anytime i actually kick it with my foot it does the same thing so i'm gonna have to pull that module and either make sure that it's not damaged or just rewire it or just get a whole new module just to replace it but once that's done then the car will run better and then once all that maintenance is done it's basically going to be perfect um and then from there we need to get door panels and then focus on the interior of the car i need to get the passenger window working because it's getting hot it's in the mid 70s today and i'm sweating so not really looking forward to driving this car in the summer without ac or without at least to be able to roll down the passenger window but essentially that that is really it so this is the location we're going to do this uh photo shoot at so i'll uh, post the pictures here as i uh, as i take them right here see if i can get the camera to focus there is a, a bolt right here and the tab is supposed to sit underneath the bolt but this tab broke so it keeps falling underneath like on the bottom of the bolt and the bolt will push it down and that's the reason why we get this really bad gapping in the fender so i just need to make a i'm probably gonna make a metal bracket and use a bolt and nut to hold it together so that way it, does, it doesn't break and um, that will suck that fender in and the driver's side is not much better but i mean it's not as bad so again this is what you get when you get cheap quality fenders like i did and i mean honestly when i can afford to get nicer fenders i will i'll probably do the I, there's a lot of reps that are still higher quality and not as expensive as the authentics but we'll get we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there i'm not super worried about it now right now i get the look and if there's a little bit of a gap you know what it doesn't bug me 
the whole purpose like we've mentioned on this car is to just drive it is to enjoy it and drive it because you know my other builds my other cars i just don't drive them and i don't enjoy driving them because i don't want to have anything happen to them i don't want to run into any issues with them so the whole goal with this one is to just drive it and enjoy it so you know what if something doesn't fit perfect it's not going to bug me because at the end of the day it's all about how the car drives much concludes what we uh really were going to go over today again not a big update but um yeah we got the car registered i have the title it's in my name and everything and we won that battle against the dmv it took a while but we finally were able to get it and it's it feels good it feels good to finally i know this car's always been mine and only mine but without the title in hand it kind of i don't know made me feel like it wasn't and it i was just starting to worry like what if this has to turn into the track only car and i have to trailer to the track and back and all that i was starting to get really concerned about that but you know that I, now we got it registered and my plates should be here in the next two to three weeks hopefully but yeah i'm just i'm excited I'm excited to start driving this thing putting some miles on it getting it all the little you know quirks that it has fixed and um you know really making this into something special but yeah that pretty much concludes the you know small update on the s2000 we got basically everything put on from here we just gotta put on a few other small things and we'll be all good to go but yeah other than that the i think the next vlog the next video we're gonna do is gonna be we gotta pull the wrap off the evo and we gotta get that project going because we're uh we're running out of time uh the show that we're taking that one to is in approximately about a month so <laughs> we gotta get that one going so that's gonna be the next vlog is we're gonna start the evo build and yeah make sure to uh like comment subscribe whatever it is that you want to do feel free to follow me on instagram too so way i post a lot more on there about what i'm up to so go ahead and follow me on there that way you can see more updates of well what i have going on but yeah we'll see you guys in the next one